I am a cosplayer. I am a Minecraft veteran, actually. I adore this game and have been playing it regularly since 2012. Well, maybe not that regularly, but still pretty often. And since I am a cosplayer and I am crafty and stuff, I really wanted to make something Minecraft related myself. And it's good that there is a female character that is really very easy to cosplay. Alex! And today I'm gonna tell you how I did it! Safe is not an option, actually. <laughs> I started to work on this costume actually two years ago. I made the most recognizable thing in Minecraft, a block of grass. I just took some cardboard, reinforced it with a couple layers of paper mache and then just primed it and painted it with pixels. Now I took this grass block again and fixed the paint a bit, made the grass and dirt parts a little bit fresher and smoother. I made pattern highlighting on grass block texture in Photoshop with guidelines and also made two little color palettes with all shades of green and brown that were used here. I also wrote numbers of the shades on the RGB color scheme. I thought it might be helpful. You can press pause and use it for your craft. Even though Alex cloth is not that complicated, it took me some struggles to make it surprisingly. Yeah, I bought basic clothes in my favorite thrift store. I was very lucky and had found everything needed. Green shirt with perfect canonical color. Sleeves are a little bit different than in the original, but I kind of love them even more than just regular boring t-shirt. Also, I have found brown pants, perfect bright color, it looks very canonical. And also just deep green long sleeve for the belt. For the t-shirt, I added grey trim to the neckline and armholes as on reference. I did it with grey flexible fabric leftovers. I sewed a Marin Kirigawa tie from this. And now, after I did everything, I can totally suggest you not sew it with fabric and just paint it with grey acrylic paint. Because it took me some time and so many nerve cells. First of all, I ripped off the old green trim from the shirt. Then I took two long stripes of grey fabric, trimmed it a little bit and sewed them together. Because it was not long enough for the neckline. Then I pinned it slowly and carefully. It took me a lot of time, actually. I also sewed it with a round stitch for some reason. I was not sure that I will be able to sew everything accurately. I got two extra pieces of the grey fabric for sleeves and sewed them too with my hands. Then I sewed everything on my sewing machine. Snow! There is snow in one piece too. <laughs> Even though it is just a regular sewing machine and it is not made for flexible fabrics, you still can use it. There are just a few tricks that will help you. First of all, use special needles for flexible fabric. I'm using super stretch one and always change it in time. It is okay to change needles on your sewing machine pretty often. They really expire quickly. This time I had some problems with my sewing machine too, but I quickly fixed everything once I changed the needle. Still was pretty stressful though. And second life hack for sewing stretch fabric on a regular sewing machine, use a very tiny size of the stitch. I'm using one and a half scale in my settings. Small size of the stitches will allow fabric to stretch freely. While I sewed everything, I had so many damn problems with the needles, then with threads. In the process of sewing a sleeve, my lover's pool of thread became empty. But I found out about it only when I finished the wall sewing. So I redid everything. Yeah, it took me so much time, absolutely unnecessary. And I was extremely happy when I finished. After this, I ironed everything and took off all the needles. Second step is to fold fabric back and sew it from the inside out, so it will be smooth and seamless. And for extra smoothness, I ironed everything some more. I sewed everything by hand with backward stitching. It also took me some time, but it was not as stressful as on the machine for some reason. I just did everything slowly and carefully, watching YouTube. Yeah, it turned out to be so pleasant.
At the end I cut off extra fabric from the edges and ironed everything in place so it could be pretty and smooth. I also sewed the edges of my trim by hands carefully and everything was done. But do you remember how I suggested you just paint it with the acrylic and the beginning? Yeah, I did it exactly because all this sewing process ended up with a messy result. Because my neckline fitted pretty badly on me. Armholes were okay though, but I like the main and the most visible part. Ah, I was so sad. But never despair. If you have some problems with fitting and sewing, there is a perfect solution which will always help you. Iron. I took this shirt, placed it carefully as it should fit me, turned it on the highest temperature and pressed it very very hard with it through some cotton fabric so it won't burn. And then I pressed it again with a cold piece of wood. I did it carefully on my wall neckline and it really helped a lot. I also sewed my shoulders together a little bit so it kinda took off extra excesses of the fabric and made sleeves buffer. Pants. Pants took much less effort, time and emotions from me. All I needed to do with them was to just make it thinner on my waist. For this I just sewed another button right next to the old one. And another thing that I wanted to add, on Alex references there were some kind of black stripes on the pants and I like the idea that this is some kind of leather belt. I just took my old black thin belt, cut it and sewed it to the back sides of my legs. To cover it a little, I also sewed some brown ribbon on top of it. And there is only the green belt left. I can actually put it on myself pretty free through the neckline. So I just cut the lower part of it and that's it. <laughs> I just wrap it around my waist and wear it like this. I'm so happy that this part of the costume was that easy. Very happy. Wig and makeup are actually the most important part of this costume in my opinion. So this is why we are talking about it at the end of the video, yeah. But it was the easiest part of the whole cosplay. I just used my Inoue Rihime wig. She has the same hair color as Alex. And Alex's hairstyle is so easy too. Just a side tail. It is really a very pleasant character to cosplay, no kidding. I already did my base makeup and I will do shorts about it, you can check this out on my channel. And right now I want to try something special. I hope everything is fine. Ta -da! This is spray for hiding roots. <laughs> There was a trend a couple years ago where girls made freckles with it. You're just spraying it on your skin and it gives you really very natural freckles look. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> well you need like just like a tiny little bit of it. Can I take it off? Yes, I can. They look really very natural. Tiny little dots of it. Do you see it? <laughs> I'm so glad that my pants are actually brown. But I'm actually so scared to put it on my face. <laughs> oh, damn it. The hardest part is coming. I'm so scared. Good. <gasps> Yay, it's so cute! I do remember that it came off really very badly from the clothes, so I need to protect it. Damn, freckles are so stressful. I actually think that it looks really very good. If you need some kind of makeup for your body especially, it's so easy to apply. But with face, of course, it has some problems. 
I also have some kind of prop for this look that I bought from AliExpress. Diamond pickaxe and sword. They are made out of foam, very light and flexible and look very good in photos and videos. I will definitely use it for my photo shoot as well as my grass block. Oh gosh, I love this so much. I want to use something more for this cosplay look when I will do a photo shoot, so please. If you have any suggestions what I should craft for my Alex, write it down in the comments. I can actually make videos about it too. Thank you so much for watching.